Hey there, it's Brett of Booster Therapy, and it marks a new month. It's August 2020, and yep, we have another giveaway. In July, we gave away a Zerzoth EDH deck complete with all the goodies. It was valued around 250 or more dollars um, with, you know, around 300 with the deck box and everything, and, well, we're doing it again. This time, I figured I'd show the commander. So we're going to give away a full commander deck of... Tatiova Benthic Druid. I'm going to be building that. It's going to be worth 200 plus dollars. It's going to have a deck box, sleeved up, everything that you would need to pull it out of the box, play, and have a lot of fun, be focused, and, well, hopefully stomp your friends. So all you have to do in this month to qualify is the same as last month. Just comment on our videos, be a subscriber, make sure you're liking the videos. At the end of the month, we're going to gather all of these comments, pick one person at random, and that person is going to get that deck. We're going to ship it to you. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States or outside of the U.S. We're going to give it to you just for watching, being a subscriber, and enjoying the content. So uh, without further ado, enjoy the video. Have a great day. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for the pack cracking addiction. It's more double masters because what else would we open at this point in the game? It is the funnest and best thing on the block. And it has a box stopper, which, you know, I'm a fan if they just do this from here on out. I mean, they did it with Ikoria. Just just do it with everything. It's so fun. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Whew. Okay, here we go. Gotta watch out for some of the good commons and uncommons, as always. All right, first rare is... The Goblin Guide. All right, we will take a Goblin Guide. Very good card. Is it a Mythic? No, another rare? Merciless Eviction. A really powerful board wipe in Commander. And a couple of Uncommons and a Jesper Icing Cat. I actually really like that cat art. Just feels different from what we're used to seeing. All right. More goodies coming. Oop, Everflowing Chalice. Not overly expensive, just a very clean two mana ramp spell. Lightning Greaves. That is very good. Can't get enough of these. These things plummeted in price, under $2. Hopefully, you all scooped them up because I am certain they're already above that. Boon Reflection, doubling the life you gain. Very powerful reflection. I think this is the first time I've seen that one. And the Grand Architect. The Master of Artifacts. Sift and a Might of the Masses. So far, every box I've opened has been a powerhouse. Um, just insane hits. And I, you know, I got in on the low price. I pre-ordered a ton of these boxes when you were finding things anywhere from 250 to 280. So it's feels good. It feels like I can't do anything but gain on these, even with the prices slipping. Chief of the Foundry. Ooh, our first mythic is Riku of Two Reflections. A very powerful mythic. A very fun commander card. And Cyclonic Rift, one of the best rares you can open. Non-mythic rares, that is. The Goblin and a Divest. All right, we got our first mythic. Again, so far I've been hitting like eight or nine mythics in every box too, which I think adds to the, this is why it's probably just better to buy the uh, booster boxes over the VIP packs. Even though I do love the VIP packs, they are fun. Oubliette, very good on common. And the master work of ingenuity, making two swords. And the Stoneforge Mystic. Always a delightful card. Really good in Commander. Ooh, Foil Brainstorm. And a Foil Urza's Power Plan. Those are two really good Foil cards. Take the Foilies. Nice to be able to tutor up uh, equipment and just, you know, build that resiliency within your Commander deck. Oh, another useful little Brainstorm. Buried Rune. Another just solid card for Commander. Not expensive, but very useful. The Beacon of Unrest for our first rare, and our second rare, is the Conjurer's Closet. If you're playing a Blink deck, do this. Or if you're playing like a Sneak Attack deck, this can be really good too. And a couple of, a couple of things. 
What has been your best best hit or most favorite opening? I'm curious how people have done. I haven't had a ton of time to watch others' openings, which I normally like to do just to, one, learn what I could be doing better and just seeing what I like with them, but also just to, you know, to watch other people crack packs, right? Lightning Greaves. Yavamaya's Embrace, downshifted from rare. Thespian Stage. Give me a Dark Depths behind this. Come on. Oh, Austere Command. Very good rare. Not Dark Depths, but powerful. Bloodbriar and a Lux Cannon Foil Rare. There's the boomstick. I'm feeling it. This is a good pack. Maybe even a double mythic pack. That would be exciting. Thopter Engineer. Again, I love that card because it gives your artifact creatures haste. Skull Mulcher. Shamanic Revelation. Okay, so that's not the best start, but maybe the next card is it a mythic? It is. Batter Skull. Speaking of powerful equipments, there is one of the best is Batter Skull. Excellent card. And a couple of foilies. So two mythics again. Old master boxes, you'd open them and you'd be happy to get four mythics. Usually you'd get three, and on occasion you'd unfortunately get two. With this one, I think the worst I've done is like seven? Maybe it was eight. I don't even know. It was a lot. Open the Vaults, everybody loves Open the Vaults, and Sharoom, the Hegemon, Angel of Dawn, and a Foil Chromatic Star, nice Foil Common. What is that, just that extra value that piles on as you open? Oh, the Bone Picker. Everflowing Chalice, serves is mine. Onaganata, Death's Shadow, again, nice powerful card, and the Swift Blade Vindicator, the one that people ridiculed for uh, it being one of the bulk rares thrown in this, but then again, if you're drafting this, this is exactly the type of card you want. Surge Node and another Onaganata, we'll put this one in the worth keeping pile. Onaganata is actually pretty good for those low powered decks. You know, kind of getting that Luxidon hammer effect. Chromatic Star. Is that Engineer again? Pented Prism. Wound Reflection. I love this artwork. Just looks great. And the Hammer of Nizan, another card that was really expensive prior to the reprint. I'm sure it'll creep back up. It's just a great commander card. Ulvenwald Mysteries, and a Foil Chief of Foundry. Foil Little Artifact Lord. Oop, crumbly Pack. That means usually there's something really good inside because it just doesn't want to open easily. Maybe we can finally get a Dark Confidant. I feel like I've not seen much of that. Dread Return. Nice little... Card. Mesmeric Orb. Nice rude card. I love that we finally are getting the mills for a part as part of the card. And Sculpting Steel. Great card. Orcish Vandal and the Sickle Slicer. Oh, what a merit lage. Well, probably about at the halfway point here. A little bit lower mythic count than we're used to seeing out the gate. Maybe this is gonna be one of those more five or six boxes. We'll find out. Topple the Statue, Rugged Prairie for the first in the land cycle of 10, and Geth, Lord of the Vault. Still don't understand why this is such an inexpensive mythic. It is really good. And a couple of foils. I also love that we have a copy token now that can represent a copy of anything on the board. It's a great idea, especially with the, uh, I can't think of it, it was downshifted from mythic to rare the Simic card that makes a copy of Return. Riku, there's a lot of reasons to want to include that Pongify. Four Tapper, Joyra's Familiar. Do we get a Mythic on top? That's a rare. Chord of Calling, another really good rare. Is this a Mythic? Nope, it's a rare again. Leonin Abunus. Abunus. 
Fortify, and an Iker Wellspring. And a little Elf Warrior from Reese the Redeemed. Let's get another Lightning Greaves. Can never have enough Lightning Greaves. Dismantle. Braids, Conjure Adept, one of the most favorite commanders for all to play with. And Master of Ethereum, the true Artifact Lord. Weapon Surge and a Silmgar Scavenger. Oh, we better catch some heat here. Let's get something big. We need a monster hit. Let's get a Force of Will. Force of Will. Take a couple Expedition Nets and maps out. Death Reap Ritual. Ooh, Ooh yeah, doubling season. Make it a double mythic pack. Can it be a double mythic? Ah, oh, it's a rare. I was hoping for two mythics. And Progenitor Mimic. This is the one I was thinking of that makes a copy every turn. Progenitor Mimic. Very, very good card. One that not a lot of people play. It might, might end up just being a pet card of mine, I guess. I don't know. I do love it a lot, though. I think it is very good. Love it in things like Animar or any big creature feature decks. It's just, it does a lot for you. Yeah, Stone Hero Giant goes along great with the Stone Forge Mystic. And another Lux Cannon non foil this time. And Glint Sleeve Artisan and a Cathodian foil. Oh, crumbly pack. A little spike on the back there. Oh, we got some sort of legendary card. Is it a mythic? Nope, it's not. What legendary white cards are in here? Oh, Vish Call Blood Arbiter. And oh, there's a mythic. James Ryman. What did he make? It's one of the early ones. Does that mean it's like colorless? Oh, no. Archangel of Thune. Got our Archangel. Clear shot. And a Painsmith. So a couple, we got one top end mythic, a couple mid range, and a couple, well, one lower tier, but not low, and then one that is kind of bottom range. Path to Exile. Morokrat Banshee. Dual Caster Mage. And Joyra, Weatherlight Captain, downshifted from Mythic. Steel Sabotage and a Kozilix. Predator. When I saw them spoil the Kozilek's Predator, I still had hope that maybe we'd get to see some of the Eldrazi in here. Not that reprint sets have to be pulling things together like that, pulling all the little pieces, but a guy can dream. Gore Clan. Firelit Thicket. I do love this one. I love the artwork on this. Just reminds me of Lorwyn Block, which was so fun. And a Terastodon. The nasty Tarasty. Cast down and a fencing ace. Oh, we're getting down there. Oh, we got four or five packs left. Let's just take them all out. One, two, three, four, five. Five packs left, and of course, we've always got the box topper. Again, with five packs and a box topper, that actually means we got, what, 12 rares left to get? Is it charm is good? Clone shell. Mythic? It is a mythic. What are we hoping for here? Ooh, attracts a Praetor's Voice. We're getting some of the solid commander cards today. Tracks and doubling season go well together. And nice rare Academy Runes. Getting our artifacts back. Sanctum Gargoyle and the Golem Skin Gauntlets. Well, we are officially at six mythics. Like I said, it's I I I think that's about as worse. I think that's as bad as it goes. Is six, man. Like I have not seen one lower than that. In fact, maybe seven. Have I seen anything lower than seven? Ooh, bubble. Brimstone volley. Ad nauseum. Another really good rare with a freaky little decaying boy. And the sundering titan. It would be worth more if it wasn't banned in Commander. 
Alluvian Rage, and a Mishra's Factory. Actually, here's a nice little foil. Three more packs. What could we possibly get? Another Chromatic Star. Yeah, a lot of those. Esperzoa. Esperzoa. The Deep Glow Skate. Look, we're getting all the, the proliferate fun here. And the Grim Lava Mancer. I totally forgot you were reprinted in this. Another really good card. Parasitic Strix and a Metal Spinner's Puzzle Mat. We've seen, what, one foil rare. We got the Lux Cannon. So hopefully we can sneak another foil rare in these last couple packs, too. I've always seen two or more. So hoping that we... Hopefully, hopefully we get a little something there. Ooh, Basalt Monolith. Thirst for Knowledge. Thoughtseize. There, is this the best rare? The best non-mythic rare? It's got to be Thoughtseize or Cyclonic Rift, right? Maybe I'm totally missing something, but those are those are super great. And Mazarek, Crawl Death Priest. One that was mythic is now rare and is super fun to play with. Kazul, Tolls Collector, and Topple the Statue. If I can get a Maserick foil, I think I'll actually build a commander deck around it. I have him as an included piece to a lot of decks, but not one totally based around him. Last pack. Last shot at another foil rare, too. Fatal Push. Are we already on to the rare? Nope. One more uncommon. Cranial Plating. Come on, Mythic. Ah, oh, it's a rare. Craig and Wick Cremator. Nobody wants this big dumpy dude. Another rare. Blood Spore Thrinax. That's a rough pack. Unless we got something hidden in the foilies. Gore Clan and... It is a rare. We got a foil, another foil rare. So still hitting that at least to a box. Ooh, Death Shadow. That looks awesome. A little bit more value from that foil rare. Love a Death Shadow. All right, on to the box topper. Good luck, me. Thank you all for hanging in there watching. Make sure you're leaving a comment, getting entered in for a chance to win the free Tatiova deck at the end of the month. All you got to do, comment, like, subscribe. You know, the good things that make us grow. <sighs> Expedition map. Oh, no. <laughs> It was bound to happen. I love the artwork. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. But we're talking value here. It's not the best. Another rare. It's a Mark Tiedon rare. Urza's oh, Power honey, Plant. All right. There is a good one. Meatball. The whole expanse of this one is really, really solid. So a couple of commons at rare for our box stoppers. Why not? Well, until next time, this is Booster Therapy. You all have a wonderful rest of your day.